It's Friday afternoon at the Big Sky. Bob McGuire with you here in the Q2 Weather Center. Not a bad looking day out there in Billings. We have mostly sunny skies, 77 degrees, a few puffy clouds out there right now. But look what happened in Lovell, Wyoming last night. Look at this house. That whole town got hit with two inch size hail, did a lot of damage there, broke out a lot of windows, and obviously a lot of siding as well. And so here's what, what's happening in Lovell right now. It's pretty quiet right now. Sun's out. It's a pretty nice looking day. We'll pull back a little bit farther and show you that in Montana, we have some showers and thunderstorms developing just south of Great Falls, but they're kind of in a westerly flow. These guys may go just north of the Billings area tonight. And as you'll see here, the only thunderstorm watch or anything watch we have is a red flag warning up around the Missoula area. Outside of that, no thunderstorm watches or warnings in the two-state area at this time. But our thunderstorm outlook does show some isolated showers in Montana, marginal risk of severe storms in southeastern Montana and northeastern Wyoming. Could see some more big storms there just in, in Johnson County and heading south towards Casper. But in the meantime, our high-resolution forecast model shows scattered showers and thunderstorms, maybe some spotty showers showers in the Billings area by about 530, but after that, nothing really big or bad until about 9 o'clock. That's when we start to see some showers and thunderstorms come close to level, probably head in towards the Sheridan area. And then after that, we'll continue to see dry skies on Saturday morning. By Saturday evening, maybe some more thunderstorms moving into the Billing area, but right now it looks like these are just going to be uh, the moderate showers, nothing really big or severe. We'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, it'll be 76 degrees next hour, down to 57 in the morning, back up to 76 degrees about this time. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at ktvq.com.